woman, and while he was out, this whole dream occurred that he didn't have a penis. But so they they'll they'll give you the knowledge or something, and they'll put you back to sleep. But nevertheless, they're just trying to. I'm just saying, it's just bearing witness that we did have that type of we did have that type of magic and stuff like that. That's not necessary these days, girls. So you know, yes. on that particular okay. level. Sure. All right. <laughs> All right. So now we're gonna get. Let me see what I, we're gonna get to the crux of. Okay. It's interesting here. You know, there's a there's an angel called Baraki L. Mm. There's an angel called Baraki L. Baraki L. But B A R A K I E L. So it's a, it's amazing that he won. Uh. It's amazing that he won uh, Barack Obama because there's an angel called Baraki L. And um, uh, Baraki L. Uh, and, 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 and you get the book, um, uh, there's, a, there's a definitive text. It's called The Dictionary of Angels, um, Including Fallen Angels, by Gustav Davison, G-U-S-T-A-V, Davison. The Dictionary of Angels, Including Fallen Angels. And in there, they'll read on Barakiel. And they say, Barakiel, one of the things he does, he's a god of lightning, like the whole okay. Shango thing we talked about. But they also say what he does, one of his things is to take risk and chances that most people won't take. So, you know, the whole health care thing and all this type of stuff here. So it's just interesting here. I'm just, you know, I'm just, just adding that on in there, the, the whole Barakiel okay. thing. Okay. Now we come, well, a few other things. Listen, let's deal with this one last part. Then we're going to go what this all came to be and what they're hiding from you. They didn't put out a whole movie this summer to keep you blind from the fact of something. So, but let me go into the other part, and that is this. Um, last Easter, well, the Easter last year, 09, my Uncle Maceo died. Very powerful spirit. Um, mm-hmm. and, uh, very powerful spirit. This year... Linda, my queen, has a friend they call a chickadee. Anyway, this woman made the transition. So about two weeks, the day that the Alice in Wonderland, about three weeks ago, when Alice in Wonderland came out, um, we rode out to go to the movies where we stopped at a, at a Marshall's because she had to get these two gnomes. Gnomes are elf-like figures. And then we found an uh, actual little, uh, a little couch that is made out of uh, made out of tree branches, and we went home and put an entire fairy kingdom together. And we worked on that fairy kingdom for about a week with different ones. We found two black fairies, and remember I told you that um uh, that they have that uh, the sister um um what's her name um Rosalind Jeffries, the wife of Leonard, Je- Leonard Jeffries. Um, we started going to Africa in the 1950s, I think late 1950s or early 1960s. And she went to Africa for almost 20-something years. And then she said she, 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 she watched some of my videos and went back to Africa in 1994 and started telling them about metaphysical thing. And the Africans looked at her and pointed to the trees, and there was little people living in the trees. Yes, she I remember going, that. She's been coming here for over 20-something years, no, over 30 years. So I've been coming for you over 30 years, and you never show me shit. They say you never, you never ask. <clears throat> it was also to say, you know, we don't like to scare you all if you don't ask those things. But there was, there was little fairy people in the trees. And recently, uh, I told you about a sister named Aviva went over, and little fairy, she, she moved back to Africa, and the fairies came in her, in her room and told her to go back to, go back to America. Wow. And another sister that used to have a blog talk radio out in L.A., she went, and she saw the fairy people, and they told her about a book, and they called the Kawi, the Kawi. Mm. So this chickadee woman died, and, and, and so what happened was, and, and, and so what happened, when you look at this Arabello, when you get this information on, on, on Arabello, the one that did it, you get rich quick, he looks like a fairy. But, the, mm. the, the, but when chickadee died, um, she... Linda said she was, I believe she was a fairy. And then we figured it out that it was her that came through and had us build that kingdom, the fairy, so when she died on Easter, she could come through. So that fairy in the energy wow. is here. That fairy energy is here. And that is nothing but the ancestral energy, the ancestral energy. So I want you to get a book and start studying the fairy. And they are the gods of nature. You want, Huh? 
Yeah, yeah well, I want to get a book. There's a book called Enchant- the, the Enchantment of the Fairy Realm. The Enchantment of the Fairy Realm by Ted Andrews. Ted Andrews is another guy that did the book Animal Wise and Animal Speaks, and he just made the uh, transition. It's called Enchantment of the Fairy Realm, and it's, it's uh, and it says uh, Communicate with the Nature Spirits in Elemental by Ted Andrews, Enchantment of the Fairy Realm. Now, there's a movie that you can find if you can get on Turner Classic Movies that came out in 1946, and it's dropping on the Fairy Realm, and it's called The Three Wise Fools. The Three Wise Fools. If you can't get it, just inquire when you call the number, and we'll see what the deal is. It's a black and white movie, but they're dealing with the fairy realm okay, and the innocence. Okay. Innocence. you got mm-hmm. to become innocent like a child. Yes. Mm-hmm. And that's it to, to tap in. Now, and also now, the, the, the ultimate fairy movie is also called The Spider Wick Chronicles. The Spider Wick Chronicles. They ain't yet brought that on cable. They, they just went past cable. It came out in 2008, the Spider Wick Chronicles. But the, what we're trying to tell people is the fairies are real, and you can see them if you yes. want to, but but it's it's about innocence. It's, it's about yes. innocence. Now, let me get into what all of this Haitian stuff has come into being, come, come, come to be. All right. I said after the 49 days, those Haitian spirits – came through and they blew up a $3,000 five, 500 watt receiver. A 500 mm. watt receiver. This receiver was so bad that I could put on, I could put on Billie Holiday and she would actually be in the damn room singing the song. And that is the mm. reason why they don't let this kind of stuff come. Remember brother used to go in the army? Back in the 70s, yeah. brothers used to go in the army to get their receivers. Because what yeah, it is, is they don't let the real receivers come in this country. Those was the, 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 the real receivers are amplifiers. They'll tell you it's 100 watts. They're only 30 watts. They only allow 30 watts. They tell the tell people in America, you got a 100 watt amp, that's only 30 watts. You got to go outside of the country to get the real deal and stuff like that. So, and, and, and it's because they're trying to stop the inner ear melanin, the inner ear melanin. So now, mm-hmm. when these spirits came in and blew up that they were trying to send a message. First of all, what happened was after during the forty nine days, after the forty nine days, every Monday morning or Tuesday morning, they would have a loud explosion here in Atlanta. A loud explosion. Now I go and turn on the news. I say, Now if we don't hear nothing about this explosion and car alarms go off and stuff, I mean it was huge. I said, if we don't hear nothing about this explosion, we'll know that that's coming from the spirit world and they don't they're just gonna sweep it under the rug because they can't explain it. And one day we caught one of the um, newscasters saying there was an explosion this morning, but um, didn't hear no more about it or something, and they must have stopped her. And this went on for a couple of weeks. This was right at the time of the 49 days, after the 49 days was over uh, and all. So and that's the time they came in, had an explosion one morning. About 12 o'clock they blew up my system. Now, let me go into what all this is about. Mm. Since those particular souls have moved into Marved into uh, gods, energies, frequencies. Let me explain this on what's going on. And we get ready to break an age-old mystery that they don't want you to know. This summer, they came out with a, 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 a movie called The Fourth Kind. A movie called The Fourth Kind. It's supposed to be about experiments that actually happened in Alaska during the 2000s where people were abducted and went crazy and killed themselves and started right. hearing this, ang- this alien language that they had to call him a black man who was an expert on Sumerian languages. Now, this is a true story that they put out. Yeah. It was a true story. You can get the DVD now. It's called The Fourth Time with Mila Yo- Yolovich. You know, um, she's played in all the Resident Evil movies and stuff in the Fifth Element. Anyway, this is a real movie on real experiences that happened in early 2000s, like 2000. And these people would hear these things, they'd get adopted, they would go crazy, they'd kill themselves. But they was hearing this language and they called a black man who had studied Sumerian languages when he would translate what was coming out of these people's mouth. They never mm-hmm. got to the bottom of it, but it was these abductions. 
This is what the deal here is. Now, this is the key, because I've had arguments. 